Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today I am going to be giving you episode 2, well because I've started a series now of my trading like tips and tricks and methods because uh, of the video I just did well, yesterday or two days ago, it depends when you see this, uh, went really really well. Uh, thanks for the support on that video if you are watching from that video. Uh, today's video though is a new like trading method to show you guys. Uh, before I jump into it, uh, leave a like on the video, comment down below your opinions and thoughts and if this helped you in any way. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, that would be greatly appreciated. Now, let's jump into the players. Now, as you can see, I've got four Marcus Alonzos, uh, all for 5.4 to 5.7k, and three Victor Moseses, all for 1.9k or 2k. What you do is you obviously pick up the first like alternate version of the player so Moses is the right wing back Alonso is the left wing back uh, and what you do you then after you pick purchase that card uh, you need to jump into the uh, transfer list and go for consumables and get the position modifier for 150 coins each both of the right wing back to right back and the left wing back to left back are both 150 coins on bid so you can do it as simply as that so once you do what I've just done, apply the uh, thing, the, the modifier, you put it up for 3,000 coins by now for Moses uh, and he should sell for that because uh, that is his price at right back. Then you for Marcus Alonso you put uh, the left wing back to left back on, uh, you do the same process but Marcus Alonso is a bit more expensive, he's uh, 6.5k so we list him up for that, uh, we then back out and we uh, go back over to the transfer targets. Uh, we're going to get uh, another Marcus Alonso here, send him off to the club, uh, we're going to do the same with Moses, we're going to pick up the other one we did, uh, we're going to send him off to the club and then we'll go back over to the uh, squad and we'll go down to the reserves again and we're basically just, you if you buy a, a batch of these players, like say 20, 20 or I don't know, 20 to 30 of each card and you do this method, You'll, let, you'll literally make a lot of coins, so here you go again, I'm putting the modifier on again for Moses, uh, we'll go in here, put him up for 3k again, uh, he's two, bought him up for 2k, so you're basically making a k profit on each player, uh, once you add the 150 coins uh, to the price you paid for them, so here we go again, Marcus Alonso uh, into a left back now, uh, we're going to go over to uh, here and we're going to list him up for 6.5k, uh, that one's done. Now we're going to go back over to the transfer targets and pick up the last, well, last one of Moses, and then I've got one more Alonso to pick up because uh, I've I bought one extra of Alonso, like because I was just bidding mass bidding on all the, all of them, and I was just uh, lucky enough to get another another um, Alonso compared to Moses. So we're going to do the same process again. Uh, put put them both in. Apply the consumables. I'm pretty sure I still have one more left for Moses. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's good. Now, you could do this with any sort of right. The only reason why I think this one works uh, efficiently is because obviously they're both they both play for Chelsea, a big club, uh, and they're both in the Premier League, which is like one of the biggest leagues, uh, especially for FIFA. So, this is why I think this one works uh, like more than what maybe a different like left wing back would do than. Uh, that's not in a better league or anything like that but really like I said before if you're buying a batch of them then you can really make some serious coins by uh, buying in bulk and buying the uh, position modifier in bulk as well because you can really make some big big coins uh, once uh, everything sells which uh, hopefully everything will sell uh, within the first attempt for us so last uh, Marcus Alonso here uh, last left wing back to left back modifier we're then going to uh, list on the market for 6.5k uh, list them on the market so that is uh, everything there uh, 9 selling so I will be back once uh, everything has sold or once the majority of the players have sold so I will be right back right guys I am back and uh, just before I show you the, uh, the players that have sold and the profits we have made I'm going to actually show you how I went around uh, picking up these players. So for Moses, I went for a, a right wing back and then 2k max price because uh, you don't want to be paying anywhere over 2,000 coins for this card. As you can see, there's loads 
that literally don't have uh, bids on for under 2k so if, you, if you're lucky you can get some really good deals doing that uh, for Marcus Alonso if we go up here and uh, go down here down there uh, obviously uh, send him over to the uh, left wing back slot and uh, set his up to around 5.2k now as you can see there are loads of different types of uh, starting prices uh, and you can get some really good deals like I have today and then for the consumables, uh, it's basically bulk standard. You go to left wing back, uh, put 150 coins there, and there's so many just for 150 on a bid. And also the right wing back to right back is the same. So you do that. Now that's that. Uh, we'll go over to the uh, plays that I've sold. So Alonso 6.5k, Moses 3k, 3k, all of those for 3k. Alonso, uh, these three all went for 6.5k. This Moses went for 3k. And this one's still selling, but it's going to eventually sell. So this is the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy or this did help you in any way at all, please leave a like on the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And also subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.